Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video series, we're recording our first MIDI song in Reaper. And this is part five of that series. Next, we're going to record a verse synth or a synth that's just going to appear in our verses to make them more interesting. So again, we'll make a new track under the track menu, insert virtual instrument on new track. And again, we'll go back to that synthesizer that we downloaded, TAL, Noisemaker plugin. And we're going to choose the preset under arpeggios called phasing saws. And it's going to sound like this. Let's bring the volume down a bunch right here. Let's name the track Verse Synth. Let's give it a color. And now let's put down that part. Now we're just going to play whole notes. I'm going to go along with the chord changes from A to G to F and back to the G. Just holding single notes as the synthesizer automatically changes to the tempo of the song. It creates an arpeggio. So because of that, we can use input quantize. Let's go down over here and right click, track recording settings, and let's change this to whole notes right here. Turn it on. And this time I'm going to quantize the note offs. So every note we play is going to be exactly a whole note. And it's quantized to the start and the end of the note. So let's play the part. And we're going to play it right at verse one. So I'll give myself one bar counting from bar 10. And let's play it. Let's double click it, and we can see it's perfect. Every note is quantized and right in the grid for the beginning and the end. So let's trim it up just for this verse. Let's also copy it or duplicate it from the verse to the pre chorus. So it'll play in both sections. Hold on Control on the PC, Command on the Mac, just drag it over, and it'll sound like this. Now, the only thing I don't like is this section right here. Remember, we cut it down so it's silent so it can feature the chorus synth. Let's mute this by using mute automation to turn the track off. Just for this beat here. So we'll select our track, go to the envelopes with this button right here, choose mute. That's going to create an envelope right here. Let's make this bigger. This is a mute envelope. Hold on the shift key and click here and here. Then we can just drag in between and the synth gets muted just for this beat. So now it sounds like this. So we can feature the chorus synth just for that hole. So now it's duplicate the synth to the second verse. Select them both, control on the PC, command on the Mac, and drag it over. And now it's in the second verse too.
perfect. So now let's add a pre-chorus synth, a synth that's only going to play in the pre-chorus. Let's move this envelope to the media lane. So now we'll see it right in the lane with our MIDI. So let's make a new track. Insert virtual instrument on new track. And this time we're going to choose the resynth. And if we play it, sounds like that. Now let's tweak this sound to customize it for our pre chorus. So let's make it a bit louder right here. Adjust the decay of the sound right here to be a lot shorter and change the volume of the sustain to be a lot lower. Let's hear that. Gives it more of a bell sound. Let's add in some square wave and some sawtooth. That's pretty good. Now let's add some delay to the sound to create some repeats. We'll double click over here. Once again, go to the read delay, bring down the wet a bit, change the delay time to 0.25, which is going to be a 30 second note, one quarter of an eighth note. Let's see what that sounds like. Now let's pan it to the left. Let's create another one by adding the tap, which is going to duplicate our delay. And we'll pan the second one to the right, change the delay time to half an eighth note, which is a sixteenth note. And let's hear that. Pretty cool. Now let's add some feedback to both of them, just a bit. So they repeat. Now let's create a part for our pre-chorus. It's just going to happen in these sections here. So the part's going to sound like this. Now let's record it. Let's quantize it to 16th notes. Use the grid, all notes. Let's quantize the position and note end. So it sounds like this. Pretty cool. But to make it sound more ethereal or more distant, let's add a reverb at the end of it. Go back to our effects, double click over here, and instead of using reverbate like we used last time, we we'll use reverb, which is similar as it also adds reverb. Let's bring down the wet sound a bit. Let's add a reverb generator, which adds an impulse response to create a reverb. Let's change the room size to be bigger, the dampening to be lower, so it's brighter, less dampened. Let's we'll see what that sounds like. I think these notes are a bit too long, so let's shorten them by changing our grid to 30 second notes right here. Let's select these three and cut them in half. Let's hear that sounds. I like that better. Let's do the same with these.
Then we can just cut this in half because both halves are the same and just duplicate it. It'll sound like this. Much better. Now let's copy these two and let's paste it in the second pre chorus also. So it'll sound like this. Perfect. Let's take it out of record. Let's give it a color. Now let's add one more synth. I want to add one more just to the second verse. So the second verse sounds a bit different than the first verse. So again, we'll create a new track up here. We'll go back to that synthesizer that we downloaded, TAL, Noisemaker Plugin. This time we're going to choose the preset, Arpeggio Danger Dance. And let's hear it. Now I want to play a part that goes up and down like that, but changes for each chord. So it'll be like this. Something like that. Let's go into record on the second verse right here and play that part. Let's double click it to edit it, switch this to 16th notes. And then we'll quantize it, all notes, position note, and end. This way the end is as tight as the beginning. Let's hear that. This should be longer, like this. This one could be shorter, like this. Let's give it a color, rename it verse 2 synth, and now let's hear it in the second verse. So that's pretty cool. This is only going to happen in the second verse. So it'll sound a bit different. Let's hear both verses and both pre choruses. Each section has their own melody or unique part that makes that song section more interesting. Now, in the next video, I want to add a fade in synth to certain sections, along with some cool effects.
to really bring out the transitions from section to section. So we'll do that in the next video. Oh!